What's up everyone, Electronic Search here, back with another video. In today's video, it's going to be kind of different from uh, Eureka series and all of the vacuums that are in there. And I don't make videos on them anymore. And um, we have something new, and sorry for my voice, I just woke up. Oh, and we have my cat here to join us. I'm recording this video at a specific time because um, there's a schedule set on it for it to go out every single 12 o'clock um, p.m. each Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So today is Wednesday and it's going to be coming out on 12 o'clock p.m. So where we're gonna wait until 12 o'clock p.m. which is about like six minutes. And yeah, so here it is. It's not the best thing that is being sold. And yeah, but I'd, I'd still be, um, interested into making a video on it because you know some people maybe would like to watch this now obviously some people don't some people do so this is the iron vac ion vac sorry not iron smart clean 2000 and i think it's made by tuzumi Suzumi. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that incorrect. You can see the cat's still here. Now, the, I bought this about a week and a half ago. And the reason why the video has still not came out until today is because I have 10 different kinds of videos to film. Now, 10 different kinds of videos means... I have plenty of videos to upload, which is really unusual for this channel because usually I just have like a video about electronics each single week, basically. And then everything else is Eureka series slash VMware 3.0 and you know, that type of stuff and TV stuff too. But I, I got a whole bunch of stuff and I got plenty of stuff, so that's why I'm making this video right now. And I recently recorded a lot, so now the 10 is down to a 5. Or I mean, not a 5, a 6. But after this video, it's going to go down to a 5. But then I still have, spoiler alert, video on this, video on this, and then I have... Three, three computers, and about three TVs. So yeah, quite a bit of stuff. It's actually, that's more than six. Oh wait, because I have to edit them. So here's the remote that it comes with. And yes, I do have it connected to Wi-Fi. You can see the blue Wi-Fi indicator on here. As you could see, that is a glowing normally so it's it is connected to to wi-fi and can you guess on what it's connected to obviously going to be 5g because everything else is going to be slow so this is just a regular um generic remote that usually looks like one of those samsung tv remotes but it's actually just for a vacuum cleaner this was $99 because it was, um, it was going out on clearance. So, yeah. Now, we just gotta wait until it's 12 o'clock p.m. so then this thing can come out and you can see how it's demonstrated. And also, you can see how it's demonstrated through a schedule. So yeah, here's the remote. Just generic. There is 
It came with batteries. These are Tinakuyu carbon zinc batteries. So I'm not sure how these are gonna last for. I also don't know how old they are either, so yeah. And then the docking station has this hole in it. I'm not sure if this is for the remote. Okay, it doesn't seem like it. I have not tried that before, so yeah, it doesn't seem like it is for that. And then after it's done, like just demonstrating on how to clean up the carpet, um, I will turn it around and show you around and see how the filter and the dump is um made and then i'll show you the sensors and then the top bottom the brush roll and then the side brushes as well as the docking station and the online app so we're still gonna wait it should be coming up to 12 any second now give it some time And there it goes. You can see it just left. And now it is going to vacuum up the carpet. I was just gonna go vacuum around a, a bit. And if I grab its control, you can see I can control the vacuum around. You can also do this with the online app but because I'm I'm not able to use it right now, the remote works just fine. And there's plenty of different functionalities. There is, there's um, a spin option, which means it will just go here and then it will slowly start to spin out into a bigger circle like so and then this is the edge sweeping so it's going to go around each single edge like you see that there's a big area back there it's gonna go vacuum along the edge obviously it's gonna take over the docking station and then this thing right here is gonna go right over here right against the edges right right against the edge right here along the way Right there, and then there. And then once it comes back here, it'll go along the edge. Along the edges, and then it'll go all over here again. And then once it's done, it'll go back into its docking station. This is the option for it to go back to its docking station and, um, and start charging. This, I'm not sure what this button does. So, yeah. This is an auto option, which means the, the vacuum will just go wherever it needs to. And it will just start vacuuming in random areas, which, you, which you've seen what it was doing. Usually it goes this way, this way, this way, this way. And then it makes those um, designs into the carpet because of its two wheels on the bottom. And then this, I also don't know what this button does. This is to move around its direction. As you can see, this is the play pause feature. So if I press this, it will continue. As you can see. 
And then if I can click spin, you'll see what it will be doing. So as you can see, it's spinning. And now it's going to go around. Now, obviously, it's not in a really good position. So I'll position it into the center here. As you can see, it's doing exactly what I what I showed you. It's just going in, in circles, and that's it. And then edge. As you can see, it's going straight until it finds an edge. And after it's find one, it will speed up a bit, and it will start vacuuming along the edges. So it will not go into the center unless if it needs to. And there's a pile of dirt under the TV. It didn't pick that up because it's under the stand a bit so that's okay and plus this tv doesn't belong here anyways so that's okay as you can see it's it's going around the edges as you can see it's tilting a bit and now it's going to go around the edge again it's going to keep going into the edge see it goes around the edges and then around around and it will not go onto this carpet unless if you tell it to. This spot is a little bit tricky for it to get out to. But you'll, you'll make it get out. So now we have auto. So you may already know what auto is as it was the first option that I demonstrated. So see, it, it just goes straight. And now it just goes that way. As you can see, there's a pile of garbage right there. It, and it slows down so it does not hit the chair. And now it's backing up. Now, I'm not sure what it's doing here. That's not supposed to happen. And it hits the chair now. So then it just goes along it. To find the easiest way to get in there. So now if we go along this pile of garbage right here. Speed it up a bit. So usually auto is just a combination. It's auto. Oh, fling that piece of trash all the way over there. Auto is basically a combination of spin um, and edging, so yeah. Auto is also known as random cleaning, which is what it said by the app. And then we can demonstrate the go back to dock button. So if we just make it go over there, and then if you click this button, a pink light will come up. And then I can put the remote on it to see how it balances. Yeah, because this is carpet, it will fling around a bit. But as you can see, it keeps on going. And the docking station's right in front, right there. And now it's going to slow down. And after it hits the docking station, it will play a tone. And then it will start charging right away. So as you can see by the yellow by the pink flashing light it is now charging for some reason my camera is not catching up with it but it is like going down fading and then coming back up for some for some reason my camera is not picking that up so yeah so now if i go out a bit more so that way I can show you the docking station around now I know it was just charging so okay we'll turn it around and we'll leave it right there so here's the docking station we can go ahead and unplug this it's a class 2 power supply regular now it's tied up once you get it, which you can untie. It's got this glossy look on the back, which I kind of just ruined. 
Sorry if it's too, um, too cramp in here. It's because there's a table right above me. There it is, IonVac Smart Clean RoboVac 2000. It takes in um, 19 volts and it outputs that. And 0 0.6 amps. Tazumi, made in China. And that's where it plugs in. And then I think this is just for cable management so you can run this up and put it somewhere along there or up here and then up here but I don't know I, I, I just keep it like this and if we go ahead and plug this back in you can see there's a white LED that comes up and on here there is this hole, which I still don't know what it's for. There's the white LED. And then here's the two prongs that the vacuum goes on and charges from. So yeah, that's the docking station. Now here's the vacuum. I'll go and move the remote out of the way. So you can control it by hand too. And I know it's quite dusty, but there's this there is a lot of holes in the top for decoration. Ion vac, and then this sticker is removable, but I kept, kept it on. So there's the app download. This is the power button that does play slash pausing. So it's gonna do the same as when, when I click this button. It will just make the vacuum go and make it stop. This is not clickable, it's just a Wi-Fi button that shows that it's connected to Wi-Fi. And again, I still don't know what this button is for. And this one. So right underneath here is the dump. So we can go ahead and pull this, pull this button down and it just comes right out. Insert this side up and then right under here, there you go. You can see the filter. Now, if I go ahead and remove this, it's it's been used, so this not this is not brand new, but you can see it's pretty dusty from all the dirt it's picked up, and then there's a little flush right there that you can see is also dirty. Let me go ahead and re reinsert this how it was, like so, and then we can just close this door and click it into place. Now if we flip this upside down, you don't want to flip it this way down like that because there is a hole right here. And if you have plenty of garbage in there, all of that garbage is just gonna fly out if you turn it this way. So yeah, don't turn it that way. You can turn it up or just keep it like this or upside down like this. Or, but this is the best way. Do not do it upside down. Like that. Don't do that way. Luckily, no trash fell out for me, though. Underneath, we you can see the trouble shooting guide that is on the back of this dump. So this is not the first time this has happened with this vacuum. It's, it's happened plenty of times. So here's um, if the there's a solid red light indicator or a flashing red light indicator. And we have one beeps, two beeps, three beeps, four beeps, and then each one has its own section. So there you go. And the only ones that have have happened for me is this, this, and this, this has not, any of these has not happened. So yeah, this is, because, I mean, it's not from the vacuum not working. It's because the vacuum usually runs something over that's not supposed to be on the floor. Because, you know, this is, this was bought one week ago. 
so it's not used to yet. So there's some trash on the floor and some things that don't belong there. So to open up the dumpster, you hold this down, but I think you can just do it this way too. You put your thumb on here and then you press this little button, hold it down and then push this up. Well, that's not supposed to happen. Now again, this has not been emptied for some time, so you can see there's this stuff, which is quite disgusting. And as well, some chocolate and some trash and dirt and stuff that this vacuum has picked up. And then there's the filter mesh. And you just take this, throw it in the dumpster, and all of this is supposed to come out. And then to lock it in place, you just do this. And you heard that click. And then just reinsert it into the vacuum bottom until it clicks. As you can see, the lights have gone out. This is to save battery power. This is called standby. And this is what it does when it's not being used for long. So right here on this side and this side, we have an air vent and as well as a sensor. You can see there's already a scratch here, which is wonderful. So these are air vents that come from the suction. Once the, once the suction comes in and all the dirt is out, it comes out through this air vent. There's also a sensor right here, which detects the sides. So it does not hit the sides while backing up or turning and such thing like that. This is just for decoration. There is no air vent on here. The air only comes out from this side. I think it's this side. If it's not this side, then it's this side. And then as you can see, there's another sensor which also detects the same thing. Now, if we turn it to the front, you can see there's a big sensor all along the top, or I mean the front, as well as some dirt spots because this vacuum has gone somewhere it's not supposed to. And this is a pressure sensor. So as, as you can see, if I click this, you can see it goes in. See, it goes in. This is done for the vacuum to detect what it's hitting. So if it goes along here, and if it hits something, it's going to back up and then turn the other way. And then if it keeps on hitting, it's going to go the opposite direction instead of keep going forward. So yeah. And then I'm not sure what the sensor detects or if it's just for decoration. But yeah, there is a sensor here. There's also... This small foamy pad here, so that way it doesn't scratch anything up. It doesn't scratch up furniture, or it doesn't scratch up the vacuum itself. So yeah, it's pretty dirty, but there is foam right here. And it ends about here. So that's where it ends, and that's where it starts. And again, there's the power button. And you can see the two edge sweeping brushes now if we turn this around and flip it upside down here is the dump and if you go up seems like you found a leaf on the floor so that's great right here we have an on off switch so if you flip that it's gonna completely turn the vacuum off and if you flip it that way it's gonna turn it on so that way you can control it with wi-fi and and everything it's basically going to enable all the functionalities right here we have a piezo sounder which which displays a lot of different kinds of tones so yeah and then up here we have our brush roll which can be easily removed for maintenance slash cleaning you just unclip these two clips pull this up and just like that you can remove it and then the brush roll is even easier you literally just pull this side up, this side, and just remove it like so. That's extremely easy to clean up. Now, as you can see, it's vacuumed up some dirt, so it seems like it ran into a plant. And yes, it has totally ran into a plant. While we, none of us were home, so yeah. This area scratched up for some reason.
I'll go ahead and remove this leaf. And reinsert the brush with this side into here first. Wait a second. Oh, my bad. So this side will go into there first. And then this should just clip right in. And then you can test it to see if it rolls both sides. Now, it does seem like there's a piece of hair here too. So, yeah. And then right there is your is your um dumpster suction. So after the suction comes into here, it makes the trash fall in there. Here's this, and then it has these, so it doesn't vacuum up extremely large items. And you just clip that right down, and it goes back in. Right above the piezo, we have. A wheel which can be easily adjustable now it's set to auto so it will just automatically adjust it and here's the wheel it is made out of rubber and the other side is the exact same right here we have our battery door you unscrew these two bolts remove this and then you have you have the battery in there, which can be replaced. Right here's an edge cleaning brush on the top of the piezo sounder and wheel. We can pop this off with using some force along here. Now this is just a regular cleaning brush. There is um, another set of these in the box. There's also some tools in the box that will help you get rid of some of this hair and other stuff. And then, again, to unclip this, it's just like that. Now, there's an extra bit on here. I'm not sure what that's for. And to clip them back in, also when you unbox it, you just clip them back in until they clip into place. So right over here where the pressure sensor is, you can see there's a sensor right here. There is also what seems to be a magnet on the opposite side of the sensor, which has been pretty dirty. And yes, it is drop resistant. I have tested that and there, this sensor, there's three of them. So one here. One at the very top, and one on the opposite side. And then there's no other ones. There is a magnet on both of these sides, and on the top, doesn't seem like there is one. And on the top, there's a little split right there, so that way the plastic can click into different sides. So yeah, this edge cleaning thing spins on both sides so i'm not sure if there's one motor that controls both of these or two motors that controls both of them so yeah and then right here we have two metal metal um prongs that connect into the docking station and is where the vacuum will charge right here is a 360 degrees rotating wheel which is made out of rubber and this will help the vacuum guide where it goes. Right here, there's another wheel on the dumpster, but it is made out of plastic, so this might be the one that's gonna be scratching up your floor, but mine's already extremely old, more than 20 years old, and it's already all scratched up. And yeah, so that's the bottom. If we flip this back over, you can see it's still on standby mode. So I, I'll demonstrate this button. And again, we'll make it start. So now we'll make it go home again. I'll put the remote right there. And as you can see, it's going to go into its docking station like so.
and that is it. So that's the entire vacuum functionalities and the way vacuums and docking station remote. Now I'm going to show you the online app. I'm just going to screenshot some things and yeah. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.